Welcome back, everybody, to Podcast Z. This is an episode, but this is us getting to know y'all, you know, all that type of stuff. Appreciate all y'all who sent in questions. And you know how a lot of people sent in us questions? Spotify, Twitter, all that good stuff. So you know what you need to do? Go tune in. Go subscribe to The Legacy. Go tune in. Podcast Z. Look us up. Spotify. Check us out. Next. What we need. We're going to get into these plugs. You know, we always going to have to plug in everybody. Tune in to us, of course. Legacy News. Subscribe. We've hit our hours. We just need everybody to subscribe now. So everybody keep on sharing and subscribing. Subscribe to DTE Legacy. True Crimes Legacy. Subscribe to D Rap. Subscribe to Zorilla. Go subscribe to everybody. If you on TikTok, subscribe to Dokkan DTE. Yeah. You know you want to. Go on and get on in there. And while you at it, tell your friends about us. Yeah. Yeah. Go tell your friends. And our name on Twitter is T O Podcast Z. Remember that. And today it's Much Miyagi. Don't forget, we got other people. They'll be here next time and on other episodes. And we're going to start getting into guest episodes. And like I've been saying, since we've hit our hours, we're just trying to put really push subscribers. We're about to start getting streaming videos, game streamings. We're about to just start doing all types of other questions. and Not questions, but other types of streams and all that. So be sure to tune in and keep on watching. All right, so let's get to it. We ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. First question we got, what do you think is happening in the MCU? Of course, with Deadpool coming out and everything, I'm not gonna get into spoilers. I ain't gonna do I like that. But what I will say is, I think a lot is going on in the MCU. I think they're building two sets of Avengers, the Young Avengers and the new current roster of Avengers, so that's pretty dope. So, if y'all like the Marvel story and all that stuff, keep tuning in, because I believe that's where it's going. I know they got other types of movies coming out and everything. Stay tuned. They just announced Robert Downey Jr. is going to be Dr. Doom. You know, a lot of people think he might come out as Dr. Doom and everything, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, Stark as Dr. Doom, because with Dr. Doom, they don't really got to show his face when it's all said and done. So, definitely think that we got some opportunities here. We'll see how where they go with it. But, um, stay tuned. Next question. Somebody asks, who got, what's the best baked beans? Like, the best way to make baked beans? Let me think about that for a second. The best way to make baked beans. Let's see. You got to have the ground beef added in there. Um, got to put some bacon up in there. And I'm starting to like just a little like peppers and all that stuff in there. Get some peppers in there. That's that's definitely it. So, you know what? They got bread in there. Put some bread in the baked beans too. Put some bread in the baked beans. Yeah. Go and get it in there. <laughs> no, but that's going to make you full. But I think that's the best way to make baked beans. They probably referring to our 90s episode when we was talking about baked beans. But yeah, you definitely, you got to have you some baked beans. Definitely. <laughs> um, favorite movie. Favorite movie. I like Shawshank Redemption. And I do like Infinity War. So it, it might just be somewhere between those two. I don't know. Shawshank Redemption. It's pretty good. A lot of movies got a lot from there. Everybody parody it and all that stuff. So, ah, that's what I'm going to go with for now. Um, let's see. Favorite DBZ character. Ooh. Ooh. Don't, don't uh, be shy to answer some of these questions yourself. But uh, favorite DBZ character is going to have to be Trunks. I mean, Trunks is the realest out of all of them. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Look what he had to go through. Look at the people he saved. 
what he had to work with. Chucks. Man. Put Chucks in the comment. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Chucks is the one. Uh, let's see. Kendrick or Drake? <laughs> I'm not going to take too long on this one. Watch our music episode. Kendrick, of course. Because they not like us. They not like us. But it's, it's Kendrick. We ain't even going to get into it. Somebody asked, what's the American Horror Story with the aliens in it? That's part of that double feature. You know, they kept it going, sticking to the script, and then they decided to, hey, let's make a two season in one. And both those seasons was, yeah. Anyways, the second part of that double feature season was the aliens, which was Death Valley, which was poo. Yeah, it was poo. I mean, some people might like it. You like what you like, but it was poo. It was poo. Um, somebody asked about Diddy News. We got a video. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little lazy on it. I got a little lazy on it, you know, a little lazy. But that's okay because we hitting it even harder. We giving y'all more videos. We're gonna give you that Diddy video. And it was so much news coming out. Every time you turn around, it was some news about Diddy. I was like, dang. I didn't want to make the video. I didn't want to drop the video and then more news come out about Diddy. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me just. I, I decided to take my time and I may be taking too long. But y'all gonna get a Diddy video. Y'all gonna get one. We're gonna get y'all one. It's okay. If you could cosplay as any DBZ character, who would it be? If I can go as anybody, y'all gonna think I'm saying Trunks because I just told y'all Trunks was the best. But it ain't Trunks. It's not. It's not. Who? It's Bardock. Bardock, he a real one. I, I go dress as Bardock, you know, put a little bandana on, you know, a little bandana on the head. Definitely. I go as Bardock. But I changed the outfit up. His... It's been all right, the little wristbands, the little leg doohickeys and everything, but I, I change it up a little bit. I change it up a little bit. Um, who we got? What kind of music do y'all make? Um, if y'all been tuning in to the channel, we do a lot of music. A lot of music. Uh, a lot of hip-hop. We rap, but I wouldn't say it's rap. It's hip-hop. Hip-hop. It's that real music, you know, this that that stuff that's gonna touch his soul. D Rap's got a heart of gold. He got mixtapes, albums, he got all that stuff. He got a horror mixtape. Go check out D Raps on SoundCloud. Go check out D Raps I Am Hip Hop on Facebook. Go check out D Raps on YouTube. Go check them out. Yeah, go check them out. But yeah, we do a lot of hip hop. We do all that type of stuff. We really wanna do more, but check all that stuff. Good evening to you too. Um, right now we're just doing the Q and A, asking the questions you want. We're going over questions too. Uh, let's see, Apple or Samsung? Somebody said Apple or Samsung. Well, I'm gonna have to respectfully say Samsung because you know I like the freedom I got with my phone. But I ain't gonna say Apple suck. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. But I'm gonna have to go with Samsung. It has to be. It has to be that way. Um, <laughs> somebody asked if that was really Joe Button in one of the videos that we used. Yes, it was Joe Button. Joe Button can rap. People act like he can't rap. He can rap. <laughs> um, yeah. Go check him out. Go check out the video. Go check out his podcast too. Maybe he give us out a little shout out, a little subscribe, a little subscribe. Hope you subscribe. Everybody subscribe. I told y'all we about to we need subscribers right now. Our hours is good. Give us the subscribers. Come sit and stay and watch. Anywho. This one, cause D-Raps couldn't be here. He said, is Goku a good dad? That's from the Father's Day episode we had. That's one of our greatest ones right there. Go check out the Father's Day episode. But yes, Goku is a good dad, D-Raps. Goku is a good dad. He's a better hero than the dad, but he's a good dad. He's a good dad. He's a good dad. 
But I, hey, we know who won. We do a tournament at the end of each match. I mean, at the end of every episode, and it was a tournament. He was the best dad. Goku was in that bracket, but you know, go figure out who won. Go figure out who won. <laughs> Those tournaments get crazy. Uh, we got more of them coming for y'all. We might do a tournament special for y'all. You know, some tournaments got missed, and we're going to get that right. We're going to get that right. Let's see. Favorite anime. If I had to pick, my favorite anime would have to be Steins Gate. The whole one, the whole thing. Steins Gate and Steins Gate Zero, all of it. All of it, because it's just a masterpiece. You see homages to it everywhere. I just think, I just think Steins Gate is just amazing. I ain't gonna cry, I ain't gonna cry. Look at me, I'm not crying. Steins Gate though, it's Steins Gate. Um, it's some good ones out there though. Like you can't forget stuff like Attack on Titans. I mean, I'm just getting into Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer's solid, I ain't gonna flex. Demon Slayer's solid, but it's a lot of good shows out here. I don't know, I can't really think of which one I would say. Currently, overall though, it's definitely Steins Gate. <laughs> what would be your theme song? If you had a theme song, y'all even think about this too. Go ask other people what would they have. What would it be? Like if I had a theme song, what would it be? Um, I don't know. Like I feel like personally, if I would, if I had a theme song, I wanted to be something extra and dramatic. So whenever I went somewhere, I could make it, you know, kick in. And it just be like, boom, it just started hitting hard. <laughs> but, hmm. If I had to pick a theme song, I really like, shoot. I don't know. I pick some anime music probably. So anime music really just be hitting. And it just gets you just amped up to do whatever it is you about to do. And so I'd probably take something out of some anime. I don't really have one specific. Except for the end has a really good theme song. Ah, I turn up to that. I crash a wedding to that. I will pay. No, no, no. I will let someone pay me to crash a wedding to that one. Just, just y'all gotta set it up. I do it though. I pop out. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show them. You know what shit. <laughs> um, what's the hottest anime out? This submission is from my mama. Thank you, mama. But uh, the hottest anime out right now, it's a lot of good ones that's, that was like from prior seasons that's still real relevant. And some newer ones been coming out. And it's been some remakes of some that's been coming out. But Demon Slayer has still been like up there. Kaiju. Kaiju's been popping. Um, it's a lot of good ones out there right now. But I would definitely say some of those are some of the top ones. Hell's Paradise, I heard a lot of good stuff about that one. They got season two. Uh, Tower of God season two came out. I ain't got to check that one out yet, but that one's definitely... They got new animators, and it just went to a whole different studio. So it may look a little different, but hopefully it's still the same show that we was all watching, you know. Don't you hate when the show gets a new studio, and then you got to hope that it's in good hands, and then... Next thing you know, you look at it and you like, ooh, who made this? That's the problem. And especially our layoffs this year. A lot of people have been losing their jobs. A lot of um, buildings been consolidating and everything. Buildings and businesses been consolidating and everything. And so it's, it's, it's kind of like a restructuring of kind of our system and everything going on. And I don't know. Let's see how it is. The stock market is terrible right now. Stock market is terrible because of everything going on. So it is, it is what it is. Hey, just don't look at the stock market tomorrow. Don't look at it today. If you already looked at it, it's too late. Just, just stop looking at it. Just stop looking at it. That's what you need to do. <laughs> uh, where we at? If you could be any animal, if I could be any animal for a day or for a long period of time, if I could be any animal for one day, it got to be like a cat or a dog, an inside cat or inside dog, because I don't want to be out there in the wild 
I don't mind, I don't mind being out there in the wild, you know. I go out there in the wild. I go wrestle me down some food, you know. I be a wolf. Arr. <laughs> no, but anyways, yeah, I would definitely prefer to be like a cat or a dog. It's just kind of so easy. I work all the time. It's stressful, real life and all that stuff. So a cat or a dog, well taken care of one too, I definitely sign me up. Sign me up. I don't want to be a furry if that's what y'all call it. I don't know what that is really, but I don't want to be one. I'd just rather actually be the animal for a day. Long period of time, let me be a bird. I want to be a bird. I want to fly. I want to fly. Anyways, best fast food. So recently, me and the family, we went on vacation, went to Indianapolis. We seen my sister. And the first thing I got there, it was this place called Jordan's. They got some fire fish chicken, all that good stuff. I went for the chicken, the fries. And the fries... They didn't, they didn't hook me up like I wanted them to, but the fries are still good. And the chicken still had that season on there that make you, you know, make you break out for some more. But it wasn't the best thing I had while I was there. And it wasn't what I remembered. Uh, and, it, you know, it made me remember what I really loved the most. Jack in the Box. We don't got one where I'm currently at. And so, Jack in the Box. I remember how much I loved it. But looking at the menu make you feel a little, a little greasy, but it's worth it. They gave me the little chimmy bang bangs for the Deadpool Wolverine. He, 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 was, he said, you want chimmy bang bangs? He, you want some chimmy bang bangs? I said, yeah, I want some chimmy bang bangs right now. So, you know, we went there both days. The first time we had it, we went there the day after, right before we hit the road, we went there, and everybody got some food. They definitely cleaned up off us, and it was worth it. They burgers is good. Oh, man. Definitely Jack in the Box. If you ain't been to Jack in the Box, take your behind to Jack in the Box. It's going to take your ass to Jack in the Box. Yeah, I said it. Hope we don't get canceled, but I said it. Starting 5 NBA. I'm going to get comfortable. This is my house. Starting 5 NBA. Let's see. If I had to start 5, center, center, let me get Timmy. I'm going to get Tim Duncan for my center. Power forward. Throw in Giannis. Yes, Giannis for my power forward. Small forward, LeBron. Yep, I'm getting LeBron. You got to have LeBron on your team. If you don't got LeBron on your team, what's wrong with you? LeBron James. Yeah, small forward. My um, uh, my guard. I'm gonna go with Jordan. Like you gotta go with Jordan. This this is yes, it's an OP team. This is that's the point. This is my five, and then my point is between Steph and Chris Paul. I really like Chris Paul. We are gonna go with Chris Paul. We got enough scoring power, honestly. We gonna go with Chris Paul. I got somebody who really know they roll. Who gonna get the ball around? So my starting five, my point guard. On the one, I got Chris Paul. The two, I got Jordan. The three, Bron. The four, I got Giannis. And then Tim Duncan. That's my starting five. If they win, you're going to lose. Stand hands down. Don't even matter. Don't even pick another team. Next, shows reimagined or a spinoff or whatever the case may be. All right. Hear me out. My, I got two ideas that shows or movies, whatever the heck, they could be reimagined. John Wick as an anime. John Wick as an anime. Start from the beginning, just get all the way into it. You know, get to the gritty. John Wick as an anime be fire. Let me get, you can, you can really bust out every movie into seasons and make it a little short season, like little 12 pieces. And I think it'd be good. Little fights would be fire. Little gunplay. John with the anime. And then my second spinoff or... I'll call this one a spinoff. My second one will be... Last of Us. A spinoff of Last of Us. A horror movie called Clickers. Yes, Clickers. But just a horror... That'd be the title, just Clickers. And then if y'all play Last of Us, y'all know. If y'all seen the show, y'all know. 
But that'd be my spit off for a movie. It'd be fire. I definitely think that'd be it. Um, let's see. My favorite game company, I'm a Nintendo guy. It's Nintendo. I got PlayStations. I got Xboxes. I got all of them. But it's Nintendo. That's just it. I love all their games. I love all their game systems. They just, they know what they're doing. They care more. They care more. Yeah, I said it. They care. Yeah. They care. PlayStation ain't making any more little budget games like Sly, Cooper, or Gravity Rush. No, they say they don't care about that. You only gonna get Last of Us and Last of Us Remastered and then Last of Us Remake Remastered and then you're gonna get Last of Us 2 and then Last of Us 2 Remake Remastered and then guess what's gonna come out? Last of Us 3 and you know what? Last of Us 3 is gonna come out in 2025 and you know what this going to come out later in 2025 is DLC expansion, but it's going to cost the same amount. Last of Us 3 Remastered. Yes. They're going to sell you the game, but this going to come with the online play. Oh, man, don't get me started. It's Nintendo for the dub. Anywho, if you could ask your future self one thing, what would it be? If you could ask your future self one thing, what would it be? I know. That's a, a real good question. It's a little philosophical. Just because there's so many so many things and I wouldn't want to know too much because the journey is definitely the is what it's all about. So if I could ask my future self anything, I wouldn't want to know too much. I'd just ask some does it work out, I guess? That would be the main thing I would want to know. I wouldn't probably ask anything else other than that. And then I go right back to what I'm doing now and just stay on the journey day by day. Because that's what we all need to do is just stay consistent and stay attacking every day. Every day is an opportunity and every day we need to seize those opportunities. And that's what we're doing now. we here. All right. A crazy office decor. Man, crazy office decor, like decorations in the office, or you know, if listen, this is if I got an office, I got, I got a nice little office, you know, I get to do whatever I want in my nice little office, whatever the case is, big balling, we got a budget. <laughs> um, I want a chocolate fountain coming right out the wall, boom, pop it right there on the side. I want a chocolate fountain coming right out the wall, milk chocolate out the wall. That's what I want. Yeah. Milk chocolate out the wall. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, and how, I don't know how big the office would be, but if it's like my dream office, I can have dream decor. I want a nice, a nice little couch, sofa or something up in there. Something nice. I mean, if you can have anything in your dream office, dream decoration, anything like that, what would you get? Would you get a chocolate fountain? I mean, why not get a chocolate fountain? You know, some days you forget your lunch and you got like some stuffed knickknack snacks in your drawer. Go dip it in the chocolate fountain. People bring in stuff from work or people bring in stuff to work. Go dip it in the chocolate fountain. People won't be coming to the office using chocolate fountain. You're going to have ambient music and chocolate fountain. You can be that guy. Don't you want to be the chocolate fountain guy? I wouldn't mind being the chocolate fountain guy. You know, I didn't said it enough times. It kind of just sound weird now. All right. Enough with chocolate fountains. <laughs> if you could live in any sitcom world, what would it be? Um, shoot. It got to be something before, like, these current sitcoms. These current sitcoms is trash. I wouldn't mind being in How I Met Your Mother world or Seinfeld. Definitely something for a Seinfeld uh, universe. Um, and maybe Fresh Prince. Somewhere. One of those three. Fresh Prince, Seinfeld, How I Met Your Mother. 
I take either of those, definitely. Um, if I could open up any business, what would it be? I would open up a music studio cafe lounge where people could come in, do music in the back. In the front, they can kind of just whether it is they type or whatever the case is, need electricity. You, know, you just need Wi-Fi to do your thug dism, you know? Um, sell food and stuff out of there. I don't know, something like that. That'd be my, that'd be it. Or I open up my gas station, laundry mat, car wash. That's what I do. That's how you make money. Big facts. All right, last but not least, the last question is something new that you want to do. I want to keep making sure this podcast, this YouTube channel is successful. We got a great group here. We got a great group amongst us that are really putting in everything that they got and really trying out here. And that's all it is. We're really out here making effort to give you good quality content that's why everybody keep checking us out that's why everybody keep tuning in right now we're almost all over the world i've been looking at the little map we put some up in the uh channel go subscribe and check it out we're in belgium we just hit canada we're in london we're in japan we're everywhere we're getting everywhere we're taking over subscribe and join the legacy if you haven't did it then you need to another question that i missed over here i don't even know how i missed it somebody asked who miss va is miss va is a hard working woman she's been helping put us on through this music and she's been helping give us a platform that we can really do what we need to do and she's been out here another person like i said out here giving it everything they got that's everything that we're doing. There's going to be an event this Sunday. Y'all need to go check in. If y'all going to be in the Omaha, Nebraska uh, area, whatever the case is, come tune into the event on Sunday, the community event we got. I'm going to post a link in the description. Really, when this is all said, then it's going to be a it's going to be a flyer right here, right, right here. And so we're going to get this video out quick to y'all. And so that's what y'all need to do. And go subscribe and go show Miss VA some love. Go show True Crimes Legacy some love. Go show DTE Legacy some love. Go show Zorilla. Go show D Rap some love. Keep showing Legacy News Podcast Z love. This is why we love y'all. This is why we keep doing this for y'all. Don't forget, we on everything that y'all can find us on. We on Spotify, we on Pandora. We on Amazon. We're, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. We're here. We're here on YouTube. We're right here. We're right here. We put regular videos up for y'all. We do all that good stuff. I gave y'all everything. Gotta close the trusty book of him right here. Get all this peace and positivity as we always do. Keep on energizing the people around you in your circle. Sometimes those dark clouds come in. They try to slow or bring you down. Don't let them stop you on the journey that you're on. We're all on the journey. We've been on a spiritual journey, all of us in our own way. And don't let anything stop you from getting where you need to go on this journey, on this road. Don't let the roadblock stop you. Don't let anything hold you back. You got a purpose and you got something that you need to get done and accomplish. That's why we're here. We're here to talk to y'all. And that's why we're going to keep on coming back, keep talking to y'all. We love every one of y'all. Go help somebody down the street. Go help somebody. Go do a good deed. We love y'all. Peace. Subscribe. Don't forget. We hit all our hours. We need subscribers. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. My bad, pimp. You know, legacy merch. Eh. We don't want to get y'all right. Eh. Uh-huh. You know what it is. With the Miyagi. Smash Miyagi. Don't forget. Don't forget the name. Don't forget the squad. Keep tuning in.
keep on coming back. We out. We out. Yes, sir.